be really confusing. Quick, Drew, get them! <laughs> me? Me or the goblin? <laughs> I'm hoping for the goblin, but he's not here. But he is, if you name the guardian, Drew, then he is in spirit, isn't he? Well, why don't we have that with the, the pseudo-dragon, then? Hairless cat. Because <laughs> I don't think Mark's going to try and eat the guardian. I, well, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to say right now. Yeah. I wouldn't make any promises that can't be kept. Put some feathers on it. See what happens. Oh, all right. Looks like everybody is. And I'm going to get loaded up and we will start this finagle shindig. Got a few people watching. Holy moly. Already in the channel, you squatters. Uh, Squatter. Nah, it's quite all right. Hope everybody's doing well. We, uh, we've got a pickle here, if y'all remember. Let's uh, make sure everybody uh, leveled up. Tim, you got it in. Uh, good there. I see everybody else got it done. Um, spells all redone. Nilius, you're yes. good there. And Kaz, you're good. Yep. Okay. Excuse me. Darn. Just had dinner. All right. Well, uh, we're. Yeah. Right? Yep. Say that again. Sorry, I, I yawned over you. Said, "Who wants to be a T-Rex?" A T-Rex. <laughs> That's the name of it. Is that what you're going to call T-Rex? No, no, I have polymorph, so I can, you know, polymorph people and other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it have a loincloth? <laughs> yeah, T Rex with no, a big wooden fact... leg. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'd like to be a T Rex, but I couldn't because it doesn't have long enough arms to do the stabby stabby. You just chop his heads buddy. off. Yeah, oh, God. Go. Turn Mar into a T Rex to tell him to fetch the cat. Could you see him trying to pick up a cat with the little stubby arms? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? If you do um, change somebody into a T-Rex, we will play this for them. Oh, God. <laughs> I love you. you love <laughs> okay, that might keep me away from T-Rexes then. You know, hey. Oh, God, that's so long ago. <laughs> Hey, done here in the good old city of Dallas and Las Colinas, baby. So, <laughs> it's close to home. It, it hits, let me tell you. <laughs> this good old gut punch. Uh, all right, folks. We are live <laughs> with shenanigans, as always, with the Trolls R Us crew. Let's do our introductions and recap and see what trouble they've got themselves into. Mar, you're up first. Mar is your ever bouncy human archer who hails with the mirror of dead men and has a shortage of cats right now. Oh, wait, he just found a hairless one next to him. <laughs> so he's okay. <laughs> yeah. Crew Cash. Crew Cash is a human barbarian coming from the Westwood. He is on a journey to believe, uh, or he's on a journey to stop an evil. He believes only he can stop that was giving him nightmares. His ears are back to normal and he has a nice wooden bear leg now for his stump. Mahogany, barely. Mahogany, that's yes. That's right. That's important. Not just any mahogany. This mahogany comes from the world of Indoor 58, where the trees are 600 feet tall and breathe fire. <laughs> oh, my. Tumlock. I am Tumlock, your Air Genasi Rogue. Uh, I'm running with these guys to support my family. And uh, got a little wiser today. Uh, <laughs> and I like to do it from the back with a stabby stabby. That's right. Nilius. Nilius is a uh, half-elven wizard bard from the Candlekeep area. He's in search of uh, great knowledge, missing family and friends, and what to do with his new shield guardian. Fido, Spot, some name, T-Rex, Barney. Barney, there it is. Barney. We actually need to make sure and put that... Uh, need to make that an NPC for you, so we'll figure it out. Uh, and last but not least, Kaz. 
All right, Kaz is our dwarven war priest, and he wants to start his own mercenary company one day. But right now, he's uh, dealing with some strange elves and a uh, mage or something that are trying to stop us. Well, by bringing that up, yes. Um, the group made their way over to this um, uh, dwarven tomb area in the hills of the king of Torhild Flame Tongue. Uh, and after un solving a couple of riddles, um, they discovered a false tomb. Uh, and then from there, after dealing with some uh, dwarven warriors that um, were not on the up and up and dispatching them, Fairly quickly, they discovered the real tomb of the Dwarven Warrior and found a battle axe, wasn't it, I believe? That is, is it in the party inventory, or did someone take it? It is... It is a battle oh, axe. Someone's got it. And a shitload of gold nuggets. Yeah, a bunch of gold, yeah. Yeah, more than they can carry. Uh, but yes, and uh, pulled the axe out, got all the, the treasure from the tomb, came back outside and as soon as they did they were confronted with three individuals that um, were hiding up in the cistern area and what the what you see when you came out were um, it looks like a uh, an elf and a couple of um, smaller elves some scouts that are sitting there and the main elf is a female she um basically called out to halt um the group as soon as you brought up she wanted to speak with the, the group about the battle axe that you brought out and we kind of held right there um in the game and so we pick up there at that moment and she um you know holds her hands up, you know, clearly showing that she is, uh, has, you know, she's not armed. Her scouts though, are look, you know, they definitely don't look like they're, um, holding their weapons, but you can tell that they are there to protect her. And she introduces herself as Ariana river lost. She is a member of the Harper faction and she, um, wishes to inquire if, um, you um, were open in giving up your claim to the axe in that she, um, you know, understood and, and kind of was searching the area and happened upon the group as y'all did battle with the uh, wizard and his the little underlings that uh, you met halfway through and they um, kind of fall from behind. But she is interested in actually putting the axe back with um it, in the hands of those it really belongs to uh dwarven scholars and giving it back to them in their you know their retinue that comes through here a lot so that it belongs in their you know basically belongs in their hands the dwarven hands not um out there doing whatever uh, adventuring group would do with it, but that it's a, you know, a piece of uh, history and legacy for the Dwarven nation and would like to see it back in their hands. And she was interested in negotiating with the group if you were uh, open to relinquishing control of it. I think we should turn it into uh, some sort of halberd for uh, crew cash. I mean, we have a dwarf with us, so why does she care? Yeah, they aren't dwarves. Why are they speaking for dwarves? Two elves and a uh, mage. Well, that seems Harper, a bit odd. You know, the Harpers, uh, they, that's just how they operate. I mean, she, um, you can roll for inside if you want. I will do that. Um, I don't notice nothing. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Pretty much. Kaz, she uh, pulls on your heartstrings there. 
that you see truth in her words. That as though you have said yeah, part of making it uh, into Halberd, but also there is history here that would be lost and um, this axe has great relevance from past you know accomplishments of the dwarven conquest and what this you know it meant to the um, dwarfs and to this region and to this tomb and basically you know the, this complex is you know a small part of the larger complex which has been underground and all that you have been seeing that the cultists have done to the underground temples areas you know and they've defamed them of what once was a great dwarven complex um so there's truth there i'll give it to them if they give my friend crew cashier an equal polearm magic polearm of equal you know value or power they were actually going to bring that up in that if uh if they were open if your group was open to it then they would like they would arrange an exchange of magic items for the axe very much so the yeah, harpers have an extensive action. extensive network uh and their reach and abilities to um acquire such items are fast and if you are opposed you know if you have a list or something that you're wanting that they would search out then she would um be you know she would say let you know she would need a couple of weeks to get the objects but that would you could meet she would be open to meeting of a location chosen by you guys to meet to um exchange and settle up on the greed payments and compensation for taking that axe and giving it back to scholars of the Dwarven Empire that's in the area. You know. All right, yeah. Well, I guess True Cash can choose whatever he wants, and we can um, trade it for that. Where I guess if closer to if we're going to go back to the um, main uh, area, underground or wherever that was. This seems acceptable. Okay. Uh, well, she um, um, then uh, nods in agreement. And um, um, would like to ask, knowing that, where can she come find the group when it, you know, first, where would you be at, would want to meet, and second, what um, items are we looking for? What specific weapon or two that would be comparable in trade does the group need? I imagine in two weeks we could probably be somewhere around Belliard or something if we're going back that way, unless there's still stuff to do around here. Are we wanting to head that direction or back up to the city? Question is what y'all want to do. So, um, so what's happened is, um, yeah, you've killed the cousin Gargosh. Um, you haven't seen hide or hair of him uh, since he fled during the attack. Um, you're kind of befuddled by what's happened. You got here and all of a sudden took control of an axe. And, um, some drama that played out because of it is kind of been all you, you, you basically settled that drama with the blades. I don't and, know. It seems know. like everybody wants this, uh, this ax except for us. Yep. Now she, <clears throat> she speaks, like I said, Kaz is discerned or I mean, it's up to Kaz to reveal to the group or not, but you know, um, what do you know about the Harpers? I don't know. Like uh, through my mercenary, uh, 
what is it? Mercenary life. Would that give mm-hmm. me information about them? Well, so the, you know, you know that the areas, and we haven't really discovered them, you know, talked to them much because you really haven't, lot, you know, run into them much just, uh, de- in y'all's dealings because most of the time y'all have been underground. <laughs> but they're a you know they're an older organization there are several factions that are in the area uh that have always been part of the silver coast and the harpers is one of the more known ones um they um they even though they do have a secretive nature you know people you know uh, those in the know know um and they are decentralized grassroots effort um they um some have some smaller cells or there are some lone operatives and they, um, their, their ideology is noble and the members pride themselves on their integrity and corruptibility. Do not seek power, glory, only fair and equal treatment for all. And they have a, they have a structure with which they operate, but most of the time these, you know, they are, these agents act and do stuff on their own, depending on what they can find, what resources, what, you know, their possibilities are. And they, uh, they, um, you know, pride in having information. Um, no, not Harper's like that. Um, too much power leads to corruption and no one should be powerless though. So we're kind of their mottos. So. Uh, interesting. I'll there share one, that with there, the rest yeah, of the party. Yeah, there is one of the groups, the Emerald Enclave, the which is more of a druidic druidic group, but believe in the in the nature of things. Basically, from out, you know a true nature of things, a balance of between good and evil. Then there's the Order of the Gauntlet, which is a little bit more of the nobility side, but they also believe in that. But they still, you know, have it from they believe the the noble class knows better for all those, um, but they still act in good faith. And the Harpers, then there's the um, Order of the Gauntlet, Emerald Enclave, Harpers, the, oh boy, um, I'm missing two, the Zentarum, which Tumok would know a little bit more about. They, uh, are a little bit more on the, uh, they're not like evil, but they are a little bit more on the darker side. Yeah, yeah, but they they aren't always bad. I mean, they don't do a lot of good, but you know, a lot of a lot of the rogues, a lot of assassins, they lawful uh, evil lawful, politicians, yeah. Yeah, maybe Lords Alliance was the other one. Yeah, so maybe they think that, no, I think the Lords Alliance is the the noble side, and then the Order of the Gauntlet is kind of more of the paladin, you know, religious sect, clerics and paladins kind of. So, and then like I said, yeah, the Zentarm are kind of. And it's they're they believe they're untouchable. Um, so anyway, so but she calls herself a member of the Harpers, and she says with that, you know, if you she said she would just ask, yeah, two things she wants, and they stand kind of at calm ease there. What would you expect in compensation? And second, where can we meet up in two weeks? time while they go to acquire the uh, exchange gifts. I guess oh, so, two so weeks. They're allowing us to carry the axe with us until they, 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 no, they'll keep, yeah, they'll, she, she will, if she will, you know, uh, upon your word, you know, that she would, no, that wasn't going to be up for debate. Yeah, she yeah, was going to say, cause I, I wasn't wanting to give up for not, you know, give up the axe for, uh, that's, that's a right. promise. She will, that's what she wants to know. If not, you know, yes, you could, you know, I mean, she understands that you could, you know, not agree with that. And then they will settle up a different way, but she will take a chance and trusting that you would agree to the terms and honor those terms. What say you? Yeah, I agree. As long as they give a crew cash what he wants, we can meet like wherever. I think in two weeks we'll probably be closer towards going back to the uh, cultist temple underground. I don't know how much longer we'll spend here in Yartar, but. (laughs) 
Well, we could choose to stay there for a little bit longer if we wanted to. Yeah, or we could just stay in Yartar for two weeks if you guys want. We still need to figure out what we actually need to do to find the missing dwarves. Didn't we figure out we'd missed a couple places back in the caves? Uh, the green, we, or the okay. purple crystal area? Yeah, there's we a couple of things. A, we also completely missed an actual uh, temple, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, so oh, and we're still supposed to be chasing a dragon. You promised Mar a dragon. So we did. You you started off with the water group, um, if I remember correctly, right? Yes. Okay. Because yes. that's yeah. Because that's where that's where crew rode the dragon. Um, and the tur- where two the, got drowned. Yeah, the turtle dragon. Yeah, the turtle dragon. And then um, we went we, to Earth from there. Did you go I to think- Earth? We um, went to the big uh, middle cave. Then we found Earth from. Well, there. see, I, y'all went, y'all made y'all's way down, yeah, to the to a second a second level that where a lot of magical energies and the different cult this area were kind of carving out some of their own space, and there has been two other discoveries. But as y'all continue on, and well, y'all even went farther down because you. Yeah, we went to the bottom. He went to another section inside the earth area um, and started, there were two guards next to some um, um, pillars and there were some earth elementals that came out of the ground. And uh, I believe y'all started a fight there. I don't know if you got to the next room, but y'all then turned around and went back up. Um, well, we do have uh, Mars Peck, which I, I think was from the earth. Rome. Uh, yes, we did actually go to the Earth. We went through a cat, uh, a temple, a monastery. That, yeah, yeah, that, oh, that's right. Okay, monastery. so y'all did go. That's the yeah, the stone monastery. So you went down. Okay, so the the point is that that you have started two other levels, third levels, and came back up from them. There did was. Did we ever go to the surface level of the air? Right, surface no. air and surface fire, I think. So right? you haven't made, I don't believe the group has made those two. That means, so no, I don't think so. We found the water one was in the earth surface, but we haven't found air or fire. And we haven't gone down the floating pedestal. And then in the earth area, there was the, we went down a cave of purple crystals and it came right back up. Yeah, that's even that was a far, even farther. That was from the tick, the ogres that were playing or the hill giants that were playing tic tac toe, and that those crystals led farther down. Um, and so there, yeah, there's been some areas that y'all have missed, correct? And our, and I don't believe I'm looking at my for unfortunately it looks like my masks have come off of these maps, but I don't believe that you have made. Well, okay, so, okay, so the air you did make because that was, um, that was the ziggurat that y'all we killed them, but we yeah. haven't ever found like the surface yeah. entrance to them. No, you haven't. But but you know, and then the and then the eternal, f- the flame. I uh, thought y'all fought that too, because it looks like I've got some. But we we on. came to them from yeah. underground, so we yeah. I don't think we came to their surface dwelling either. That's, That's right. We went surface. over there from the earth area. So you know this, yeah. You know, okay. So you know that there's a corresponding. You're you're discovering that there's a corresponding surface uh, entrance to their underground chambers, but there's even some chambers. There's their first level underground and then what's the second level which is kind of some of their compounds that are com- combined but there seems to be even third a third level per temple area yes yeah, so i should say we figured out we hadn't gone deep enough mm-hmm. yeah the purple crystals that led down somewhere and y'all actually started on the third level of the earth and then turned around and went back up let me uh that would have been I believe it is this. I'm going to. Yeah, here it is. So y'all started. Let me put them. Wow, was my. I'm really surprised. Let me bring this. I don't. You're going to remind me here in a second because it has been a while. But this is the earth one. And if you remember, is 
just sent y'all the map. So if y'all remember the Hall of Guardians, I think y'all here, because there was a battle. Because isn't that where you had your stone armor on? Yeah, that's um, actually where we got the stone armor, yeah, if I remember. Yeah. I, I don't, could have sworn we went further than that. You may have. There's another. Uh, there, the bullet attacked us in Marlos's memory. Okay. There you go. Okay. So here's where that's at. Thank you. Yeah, that's where I kind of helped defeat someone by basically gust of winning him away from me several times. Well, there, yeah, I think Marlos is memory, and then we left after that. Okay. Yes. That was here. Uh, that was in this next chapter. There was, a, there was a there was a guy th with uh, throwing these gems and coins into this Zorn's mouth, and y'all killed the Zorn. That sounds right. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much where I actually joined. The okay. group. Yep. So that's that's a third you know, that's the third level for what you believe has been you know, ex access from some of the earth's area. Um if I let's see you join the, from the fan. Let me bring this up. I want to bring up the fan. Okay. So this compound y'all have thoroughly Um, ventured through, you know that there's a way down. If you go up in the middle of the map where the purple crystals are at, that area um, is, the, yeah, you head down that path. That's it. Yep. You head down that path to get to the map we were just on, which was where the stone, the earth dudes were at. Um... But I believe that y'all also know that there's these platforms. Um, there's a platform that goes up and down, which you're not sure um, what it does. There was the, up in the upper northwest quadrant of this. And then there's a hole all the way in the western, north, southwestern. There's a pit there. Um. That is where we got those balloon bags, the balloon backpacks. Because yeah. I went up it. And no, there's found. that even goes that's above, but there's some the pit there's also a pit that goes down. This this pit goes up and down that hole. And y'all the balloon um, actually the balloon bags were here. No, the balloon bags were right here. Let me uh, show y'all. Yeah. 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 But, I, you, but I that, pit, that a... pit the pit to this down the stairs, that goes down that hole. Yeah, I, I came up from that mm -hmm. and looked around and we, we realized that we'd been no, here. No, there's a hole. No, there is a, okay. there's a, we there, came up to the level above here. There's a, yeah, there's a, this, where this worm here above there, where that circle, that actually is there. There's a uh, hole in the ceiling there too. Vertical tunnel right there. But I'm also talking about the one down the stairs, that big old shaft. There's a pit there. The air comes up through. So, there's a few things. So you at least know of three. You've got you think you got an air one, you know you've got an earth one. You believe that well, common sense may tell you that the one in the northwest quadrant, that's really hot. So that might have to do with fire. And you're not quite sure about the last element where its entrance is at you've not discovered it let's put it that way so there you go and well, we still have to go to summon the hall to return the uh breastplate that two mocks carrying around yes sir so well, let's let's do yeah. that let's that's that's where we'll meet our harper friend is, is summit hall okay so the group is yeah you're gonna basically you'll be able to make yourself to um, to Jundar's Pass, that road, and then you can spend some time, you know, just just a good old jaunt to head on down to Belliard, and then south from there is Summit Hall.
So I guess it's up to uh, crew to tell the Harper wizard what he wants. Yeah, that was pretty good discussions. Um, all right. Well, I simply request a mighty magic glaive in exchange for the axe. And of course, I'll hold on to the axe until <laughs> we meet up again. A mighty... Mighty's in the eye of the beholder, don't you believe? A glaive you believe could equal this axe. Who's got the weapon right now? Crew Cash, it's on you. Yes. I crew has it, yeah. I'm bringing up the, I'm bringing up the uh, great axe. Oh, yeah, y'all haven't had time to. I say it's one of two in there. I've got it. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Crew Cash, do you even have any magic items? The trident. Don't you already have a great axe as well? There yes. A, that we got oh, from the Oni thing. area. I just never used it because it's inefficient. <laughs> I, I was trained in a glaive. I... Alright, well, I'm going to have to... Since uh, I've got to bring up some a glaive, hmm. Oh, excuse me. Damn it. Templates. Uh, um. Not giving me much to go on. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to custom make because I don't think there's any like named, you know, pole arm that no. are like, yeah, they're, not, which they're all pole green swords. There's great sword of Holy Avenger and all those, but there's no glaives or no, axes, really. There's just the vicious glaive. So maybe you just have to make something up. Take a gla uh, base glaive and put the same set as the axe on it. Yeah, just rename it glaive. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna have to work on that then. So she, yeah, we'll have to. I'll have to. Change. I'll have to surprise you then. She's got just a couple change weeks. the base damage to. 1d10 instead of 12 and then I oh, will figure it out there's reach on 10 and go. I've got some I've got a, some I've got a few things to here to play with you know I can actually um weapon creators I think it was I thought it was in fantasy in there or what is it fantasy grounds or has the um magic the yeah creator? there's like a magic item template yeah and... yeah you can create weapons and all that I haven't used it before so it looks like we're gonna be playing around. but I've got the axe here I've got its description and all that. So that being said, then she says, "Summit Hall it is. Two weeks time. Um, we will meet you there, and uh, I will bring a weapon of equal value to you, and we shall exchange said weapons." Right, I hock a loogie in my hand and I shake her hand. Oh, she, uh, uh, ooh, th ooh, thank you, kind dwarf, because she's up above. She's, you know, she doesn't step down. She goes, oh, that's quite all right. Uh, and she motions uh, as she steps back a little bit. She motions to her scouts and they turn, you know, to make their way. And she bows one more time and then, you know, trustingly, they skirt off 
and make their way down the road going back toward Yartar. That's kind of awkward because I think that's where we're going to be walking towards too. It's like you just kind of leave the same direction. Well, I thought y'all were going to uh, summit. Y'all were going to head south to Bell Yard. Nope. Yeah, Summit Hall and Bell Yard. Yeah. I think that was the plan. Could be. I mean, seemed like we had gotten that uh, decision. Yeah, because we finished everything in Yartar, right? That There's you no, know of. Nothing yeah. Else interesting. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That you know of. Correct. So should we like search around more, and or should we just continue down? I guess we should try searching further south because that seems to be where all the action was taking place. Well, Yippee Kaye group makes its way, unless I just roll something silly here, and I didn't. The group will make its way and begin the journey back down the um, trail toward Bell Yard. And let's see, where are we at, maps? I don't even know why I do it, because I know exactly what's going to happen. When I put this damn map up. Oh, it's already Look, there. It's already there. Yes, I know. How convenient. Mm hmm. Yes, everybody. Yeah, Shield Guardian will sit outside of it, though. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, he's a little big. Yeah, he's a little big. <laughs> oh yeah, hearing at me. Yeah, everybody just slide themselves right on into the tent. <sighs> now you have um, the spell guarding. Yes, I know you had posted the description on that, but I'm trying to think. You have all this. That I can actually bring up everything just by clicking on them. Uh, it does bring up the yeah. stats, and I. Yeah, I'll make a, um, well, I mean, as long as you can, you just can't pass this turn. Um, that's the only thing. I can't him. also do an initiative or anything for him either, so. Oh, uh, that's true. So the question is, how does he, um, sure guard is bound by the amulet, blah, 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 blah. What we'll do then is, um, I'll create a, uh, character sheet for him. I should have done that earlier, but I didn't. So, just so like with Droop and Turiani. Man, you've got just all these companions around you. He's hogging all the fun, guys. Um, but we'll do that so that you can then um, set him up like you're supposed to. And then you've also got um, a spell storing feat for him that you need to... Um, oh, yeah. I need to put a spell in him. Yes, you do. Moondog, what's going on? Good to see you, buddy. You got some tape. I imagine that spell is probably going to be fireball. <laughs> Set it off. Maybe, maybe. There's new spells in the Xanathar's Guide too that you can check out. Yeah, I think I picked up one of them. The um, it's a uh, storm thing. My fourth level spell. I have a uh, storm sphere, storm sphere, yeah. Yep. Well, the group will make it. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm gonna even roll this. It's not like they. I ugh. do. I have anything that can challenge y'all at all? No. Well, pull oh, you're from a different that. chart. Or yeah. pull something out of uh, out of I your am. head. I, well, I'm, yeah. well, that, that's asking a lot now. That's okay. You know. So I will actually put fireball into the <laughs> uh, spell storm. <laughs> Is that to set it off? So then you have to. T I mean, you have to then determine. Didn't I? Re have I read that right? For the 
stunt. Yeah, he has to set a condition as to condition is when that thing fires it. off. When I say fire, <laughs> <laughs> when, when Mar tries to eat the cat. Oh wait, we don't want it going off all the time. <laughs> There's the encounter builder uh, stuff. Yeah, I, I've got. I was gonna roll. I've got a the random monster table here. I was gonna throw one up here to see just what the hell comes spitting out. Um, when I yell, blow our enemies up. This. Uh, and the tar the trigger word was set to oh god, kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Until there's a spider in the tent and Mario's yells, kill it with fire. Spider! <laughs> spider! I specifically make sure that Mar is not a, does not have the ability to trigger it. I was going to say, I think it only uh, reacts to the person wearing the amulet. Does it? If what I remember what the description said, that the wearer of the amulet things? controls it. For most things, yes, but it looks like the spell can be triggered by other things, so... Um, by condition. Yeah, the, so uh, the condition could be something that someone else could trigger. Whoopsie. Alright. Um, well... Yes, yeah, yeah, it says in. when commanded to do so by the wearer or the situation arises. So yes. it, it's when you command it or when you're, um, <laughs> you're, you're, yeah. What the hell word was I looking for? Yeah, I that know. word. Um, condition that you set happens. It'll cast. But it's only you or that condition. It won't be anybody else. So the condition can be if we're all dead, just fire the fireball off. Could be. Do we want to wait that long? Well, I can also command it. What if you die first? Well, I can just set it so that it, he does it if I die. I'll just take everybody else with me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's All like right, Pokemon, but D&D. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. That may be too much. What the hell? I just dragged this. Oh, that's Encounter about. rating 50. We're fine. Well, I, I saw something I wanted to throw in here, but then... Um, <laughs> holy smack, man. That's a lot of hit. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I'm going to... Okay. It, it sounds fun. I yeah. mean, if somebody buys me a critical hit with a, you know, now, now, now. sneak, we, we should be able to kill that thing okay. pretty quick and easy. I, I only have two level one spell slots, just so you know. Yeah, no, they're a dog. They're talking about the, he's got a he's got a spirit guardian that can store a spell, so he's putting fire shield ball, guardian, not spirit. shield guardian, a shield guardian, and and so the question is, that's now this isn't a creature. This is actually their new a new companion, and on a based on a condition. That spell is fired off, and that we need to know what that condition is. All right, who wants to be the roller of die? Sure, I'll do it. Roll me a d4. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, this is just... Spin it like a top. Wow. Okay, that's. No, I don't need to make a second one. Okay, I'm gonna see. That's a lot. <laughs> oh man! We're about to get tested, apparently. Holy moly! You wanted it, you got it. Um. <sighs> okay. Who any who's anybody doing watch or just uh, sitting here letting them just uh, at do the very their least, Daniel will watch. 
Well, I'm sure the Shield Guardian is watching too, because it doesn't sleep. Doesn't sleep. Doesn't eat. It does whatever. It guards. It just guards. That's right. Um, does it have a understands commands given any language you can't speak? It has passive perception, blind sight. Well, okay. So roll a uh, perception check with your guardian while y'all are, uh, you know, snoring away. I'll see if I can. Uh, yeah, you should be able to click on the shield and bring up its uh, wisdom. That's it, the Stat. wisdom roll. So just do a wisdom check would be yep. this thing. Yep. Yeah, just straight up. I'm clicking on wisdom and it's not doing anything. Click the C and drag it away. Yep. There we go. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's and as I said, Trayani is still keeping watch. Where's she at then? Is she inside or outside? She's inside, but she can see out. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, then she hears a bunch of rustling coming from the south and kind of crashing through the trees. Um, come these two large looking creatures. Trolls! It kind of look like this. Oh, awesome. Oh, and they're, they're trees. Whoa. And that's that's going to be fun for good old we are Yes, we are playing with one of the new books that I've had for a while. Um, that I've been meaning to try to use the ultimate bestiary revenge of the horde was a Kickstarter. They've had it out for a while now and they put a bunch of new, they, they actually took the, a lot of the kind of the common, what's the word like hobgoblins, kobolds, uh, trolls. Let's see what else is in here. Orcs. Bugs, see bug bears, ogres, goblins. Cobalts, gnolls, five goblins, more cobalt ogres, octies, orcs. They basically expanded them out and to put them into kind of a structure that, uh, yeah, they did an ice moon dog and they have, you know, more pieces, you know, flavors to them all. And, you know, you can to get some of them with, as if like you run into tribes. Hey, pineapples. Uh, you know, and things so you've got all these other stat blocks and here come some new trolls that the group hasn't faced For the sake of my weapon are these trolls um, still giant type because my giant type adds are, an extra key. They are definitely large looking and It's two come crashing through the um, Trees and then all of a sudden she hears two more Um from the other side. Uh -oh. Dun, dun, dun. And they are sniffing around. Yep. And they see the dome, but they... Then they see the spirit guardian, or the shield guardian. I keep calling it spirit guardians from the lovely spell. And they are sniffing it, but they... Let's see, are they... Are they marsh enough to not understand that it's not alive? Let's see. Um, no, they do. They've got advantage on those checks. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, the guardian can kind of clump off and they don't follow it. They're, they know that that thing is not um, munchable. And they begin to, they, this one begins to ease back into the brush line, as does this one. So I assume Trayani lets me know when I wake everybody up if they're sleeping. Okay. All right, are we going to fight these strange beasts? Um, 
Oh, they're disappearing. Two, two backed oh, yeah. up and two backed up into the tree lines. These two are kind of circling around, kind of looking at the, and they, you know, one number two is watching the shield guardian, but this one is kind of, you know, he's looking around, and then you also notice that it keeps looking back south, the way that it. Um, You know, um, the way they came. And then turns its back as though not quite there. Don't, yeah, they don't know what to do. Do you guys want to fight these things or just let them? Y yes, Kakash, do you want to fight these things? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. They disturb my sleep. So yes. I'm going to enter a rage, step out of the tent, and stab this thing in the kneecap. Okay. You get a shot at it. It, cry, it cries out, ah! and we we have battle. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, that was the... Whoops! I'm gonna turn that way up. Oh yeah. Roll me initiative, folks. Can y'all hear that? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, yeah, I fixed my sound. Finally. Yeah, it's too loud. been nice. Bring it down way too loud. I was gonna say it, it's it's just to the point where it's not overpowering you yeah. and it's not overpowering anything I'm, else. It's just I brought it's it down. A nice. All right. Okay. Crew cash. Smash. All right. Oh, and he looks like he did. I I rolled. Oh wow, they did horrible. Shield. Oh, let me see. You need to roll. Onyx quit. Cat. Um. Sorry about that. Oh yeah. Oh, Moon Dog. Thanks for the resubscribe. I do appreciate it. His is a. Um, where's his initiative? Uh, it's just a dex then, right? Um, yeah, just a dex check for the guardian. Seven, yeah, so he's a seven. Boom. All right, with that being said, then let's, let's begin this shit dig. You're back up again. Crew crash. Yep, I will continue stabbing at this with my trident. Right. Moondog, let me know when you've got if you've worked on more of your tables and all that to test some stuff out. Like I said, I've got some ideas. But once you've got time, um, we'll look at your critical tables and put them to use. See how they work, so you can get them out there to the public. Mashy, smashy. That big man with the wooden leg, he hit me. Hey, your legs match. Let's beat them. Brothers. You're uglier than the last trolls we saw. Well, if you think I'm ugly, wait for daddy. Daddy come smash you. Daddy come smash. Daddy smash all. Ho 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 ho. Puny human. Puny elves. Oh, he didn't know you're there. Sorry. Just a puny human. Something come flying out of the darkness and miss me. Ho ho ho. Alrighty. Side though. I will uh go out and uh. Oh, do we Mr. have? Mr. Troll is gonna say hi to Tinder Strike. Do we have uh items that need to be spent? Or not? Oh, all enemies to poof. 
Isn't that nice? All right, well, he just moved five feet. All right. And then I guess I'll go back into the oh, damn you. sphere. Yeah, uh-huh, without digging. Um, do we have any um, store-bought stuff? What do we got here? Yeah, I got uh, a crit hit, DJ. That's right, baby. Yeah, I was going to say, you've got some stuff, Mr. Brew Cash has got a crit hit, too. So, yeah, oh, he does. I did yeah, have so, a crit from last week, yes. Yeah, so we'll use that. Yep. Alrighty. I Good job, me, kind of forgot your free uh, advantage. But too late. They haven't moved yet. They haven't attacked yet, I know. It's all right. Droop's going to stay hiding in the tent. I figured as much. Mar. Mar's going to head towards some trees. Get that cover. All right. All right. Make me a perception check when you run there, please. Okay. You didn't notice the troll standing behind it. No, he didn't notice anything. And, uh, let's see. He will... Ask we're going to shoot it with a crossbow. Not. Can we try again? Ah, ah, ah. We kind of did that, DJ. That's what this is. But you're more than welcome to. But this is uh, kind of something they've run into. We're playing with some new monsters from the Ultimate Bestiary. Do I have a? Do they have a cover shot of this thing? Let's see. And yeah. as my bonus action, I'm going to attempt stealth. Here's the uh, cover art for this book. Uh, critical fumble. Oh, thanks, yeah, Harmony. Really appreciate it. Okay. That's, a, that's the cover of the book. We appreciate it. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Thanks, DJ. All right. Did uh, Mar, you are stealthening. Okay. Uh, tempting to. Yeah. All right. Bought with love. Yeah. I got a fumble now. So I get my crit hit first, though. Mm -hmm. Kaz is swinging away. Uh, oh, you threw it? A hammer? Yeah. And then I'm going to cast uh, Shield of Faith on Crew with my bonus action. And that will be my job. Okay. Um, I need a perception check from Mar and Crew Cash, please. Another one. You are standing there, and you and the tree line is, uh, to the south is blocking view, but you feel tremors. You know the ground. It's like there's a stomp, and you feel this. Little luck of shaking, and then another, and it's just very slow though. And every time the whatever hits the ground, the earth just kind of shakes a little bit more. And it, and you understand that it feels like it's coming toward the group. So, Jurassic Park from the south, very, very similar like that. Yes, exactly that type of effect. You know, if there were a puddle on the ground, you would see the tremor, and. It is, but you don't see anything, but you know, you feel it. Triani. For now, she's going to stay where she is. Okay. Shield Guardian. Going to move there. And attack the troll with two fists. Hey. I don't think I have the ability to do that though. You should be able you to click can. On, yeah, the click on the shield. For the shield guardian. And go all Is the way have... down to actions. And under fist uh hover over each thing where it says uh melee weapon attack. Just grab that and roll it. Yeah. It should highlight when you uh, mouse over it. Melee weapon attack plus seven. 
and then the damage is a little bit uh, over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can. You should be able to control click. He's. All right. So that. Yep. Yeah, that missed. And dude, I think you've got two of fist attack. Yep. Oh. He misses. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, anything else? Or is that it? Uh, nope. That's where you'll stay. All right. So this. Okay. Um. All right. We got that. He's going to. Oh, let's see. What's this do? I did that one. one okay. Okay, that's cool. I did that right with them. So it's going to smell Mar. Mar, what did you? Okay. So here's your roll. Wisdom. Oh boy, they're horrible. What did it get? No. Okay, from your north, Mar. Uh, out of the tree line, this troll kind of steps out. It was well camouflaged when it was in the tree, almost indiscernible, but it stepped out, remembering where you were in there, you know, you were there, but then comes over and is sniffing around and can't quite tell where you're at. 18 is here. And it makes, it tries to bite, and then, oh, I got it, oh, I should, okay, well, next one will be crit, this one will be an automatic crit, so let's do the roll, oh, first one, what was it, missed, nothing, okay, so I didn't mean to click. So nothing, I have no effect, but I still at least get the swipe of one claw, which wasn't that bad. And then he tries to attack. Actually, the second one would have been with a fumble. <laughs> Since that was what I was bought, thanks to pineapple. So let's do that. You must make successful DC con level or receive disadvantage for your next attack. Okay, so that is a 15. Oh boy, he's not going to make that. That was a successful con save. Oh, he might. Actually, he just might. But he does not. All right, so his next attack after this was at disadvantage on the next, next round. All right. Um, now, let's see, 18, he got hit, who hit him? Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, and he controls, if, okay, it's that bad, okay, this back to this one, yep, and then, now to, oh, I, I gotta do two first, and he, Tries to bite this thing that swung at him, hits it, and then tries to claw across one, two, packing. All right, this one's, um, hmm. Mix quit, cat. Damn. Watch up here. Um, hmm, is he smart enough? Let's see, intelligence. He's not quite smart, so he comes running out. Instead of hiding, he comes out of the forest and runs up and attacks this thing. Yes, and one more. Hits. All right, Kukash, back at the top of the order. You have a crit. You've got it. Yep. Okay. So we're not doing the stun from that other effect. Oh, so he the missed the. He hit it twice. The first one missed nothing. Oh, okay. 
All right, I have a crit. Let me roll the effect first. See if anything happens. Okay. You gain plus two to all your defenses from the target until the end of your next turn. Okay, we'll add two to everything. AC plus two. <laughs> that must be nice. And spell DCs. All right, well, let's just... I just basically roll the negative two, really. Yeah, that should yeah. work. Either way. It's easier than changing the character sheet back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just, I just throw it at a negative two. Okay. Critical. Mm-hmm. That'll work too. Uh, I just added it. It'll last until his turn, I think. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, I guess it won't work for that target though. It's only against that target. Fine. And the last one's a miss. All right. Nilis. Okay. Time to have a little new fun. Whatever could that be, I wonder. It is not a fireball. Let's see. A 20-foot radius sphere of whirling air springs into existence, centered on a point you choose within range. Okay. The sphere remains uh, for the spell's duration, which is a concentration, up to one minute. Uh, each creature in the sphere, when it appears or at the end of its turn, must succeed a, on a strength saving throw or take 2d6 bludgeoning damage. The sphere's space is uh, space. Uh, the sphere's space is is considered difficult terrain. Until the spell ends, I can uh, use a bonus action on each of my turns to cause a bolt of lightning to leap from it, uh, from the center of the sphere towards any one creature I choose within 60 feet of the center, um, to and make a uh, ranged spell attack. Uh, I have I have advantage on the attack if the target is within the sphere. On a hit, the target takes 46 <laughs> lightning damage. Uh, storm sphere, I see. Uh, what Creatures is that? within 30 feet of the sphere have disadvantage on wisdom perception. Checks made to listen. Yeah, because of the noise. That makes sense. Alright, um, each creature that when it appears, so they need to... You should have strength saves on them first. No, well, oh, yeah, they yeah, have to... to yeah, you have to do it. says at the start. Each so creature in the sphere when, off. It, when yeah. it appears. Here, let me do that. It was on number two. <laughs> Hold on. Here, before I want you to re-roll it. That was number That's two. Weird. All right. This, the roll on this has both an attack and strength saving throw, which is weird. Well... So let's see. Well, you roll the strength save first, and then they take the bludgeoning well, no, the, damage. The, yeah, the attack is different, but for some reason it's doing both of them with one die, and they didn't put two separate for it. So I guess I'll have to figure out when I'm. Well, I've it got, no, it, yeah, you know what? You know, you hit the hit the uh, magnifying glass, expand it out. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why. So what were their saves? Did they? Um, Alex looks like they both succeeded. saved. Okay, so they both saved. So, so they, they don't, don't take, take that. Okay, yeah. So but then, I can use a bonus. I can use a bonus action to cause the, lightning damage. At the end of your turn, yep. Yeah, toward one of the creatures you choose, 
within 60 feet of the center. So it doesn't even have to be, it could basically come spinning out and hit anybody. That is correct. And okay. if they're in inside, which these two are, I have advantage. That's fine. Yeah, got, I got you. They said they just, they, it's up to which way. I'm just saying you can shoot anybody with that thing. That's basically what's happening. All right. Gonna take some lightning damage. Bzzz. Okay. Well done. Doomlock. New spells. Well, you yeah, know it, you nice. love it. Doomlock's gonna jump out. Mm-hmm. Strike away at tender with tender strike. And miss. Jeez. <laughs> I get to change the color of my dice. And then he's gonna jet back into the uh the, the sphere by disengaging. The ladies are in the house tonight. Looks like you know, they're coming to visit the dog man. Are they going to give some dogs some love? I thought y'all were going to be giving Free Walker love tomorrow night for buying the monsters for y'all. But, you know, dog doesn't mind. He called y'all out. He said y'all can't play D&D. &D. Just, just so you know. Ooh. He went there. You play D&D &D like a girl. I think that's a compliment. <laughs> for them it is. Shots fired. Shots fired. That's right. Oh, really? Okay, hold on a second. Where's it at? You know, the... That's right. Well, in honor of that, we're going to shoot at it. No, hey, it hit. Oh, that's <laughs> So he's going to pelt them. And then he's going to move to this guy's tree, since he's no longer there. Who did you just kill? Nah, I killed your troll. Oh, my troll. Oh, boy. Alright. Well, and then you. as a bonus action, yeah. he's Dude. going to step. Yeah, try to hide. Yeah, he saw Sorry, you Sorry, that was meant to be in the uh That's got tower. Holy moly. What the hell? What? That's this stealth just... almost as good as mine. <laughs> Holy crap! How the hell is he supposed to see that? Well, yo, know, my because I have disadvantage, I had to stack it up. So my minimum was now fourteen. Well, let's see if you can stealth one. Okay, so go right ahead. Oh so, no! You kill my brother. Daddy's gonna be mad. Daddy, daddy. Come here, they hurt the little one. They hurt the brother. They hurt my brother. I forget his name. But we don't have oh. names, you dodo. Alright, Kaz. Alright, I'm gonna cast Sanctuary on Mar with my bonus action. And I am out of spell slots. Can now. you see Mar? <laughs> he just senses him in the in the in the but how does it work for buffing allies if they did a stealth check? Are they Specifically hiding from. Yeah, he's hiding from everybody. I mean, he jumped his ass in that tree and became one with it. Caca, caca. Exactly. <laughs> he, tried, yeah. he tried to do a big fucking rock. Yeah. Because he's still wearing that stone armor. He, he, he and then I throw my hammer at this troll here. Hey. All right, crew cash. You watch the troll falls in front of you, and as you're staring at it, you look <laughs> to the tree line. And coming out of the tree, you see the trees part. I mean, not just like part, but they, they get moved aside and they snap at the roots and the, the, and the ground kind of upheads as they move across. And this creature steps out from behind the trees. Oh, that and looks it, awesome. And it looks like this. Um, There's a goat on it. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is gargantuan in size. <laughs> Mars going to make a belt out of you. You would think Dibs it was on the big one. Except for it moves. Moss and grass grow on its back. 
you know, and kind of fall off. It moves around. It is Papa. That's right. Oh, look at that. They are giving dogs some love. Isn't that nice? And he comes lumbering in. And he one let's see one two three comes running well what's considered a run and he is massive can move in spaces all right okay when it does so is he really in my range i'm stabbing him in the toe yeah basically what's that cast is he really gargantuan size? Yes, yes he is. Uh, he's big. Um, you need to make me a dexterity saving throw, crew, as it comes lumbering in and and oh. basically it, it and it moves so fast it can't stop, but it can actually s land on. It's not, that's not really what I'm looking for. It can move into spaces already occupied. Uh, by larger, smaller creatures. And when it does so, because of its speed, you must make a saving throw. And you made half. So here, let me let me put that on. I'll let you roll it just so you know. But that's okay. So there's the success. So then it hits. It kind of whams into you. And you take that bludgeoning damage from it. And then it kind of... It kind of stops there, and it looks down at you, and it's looking down. It kind of didn't pay attention and stepped on the one that was laying in front of you, and you see this look of almost simple anguish, if a troll could ever that, and then turns its back up, and its eyes begin to turn red, and it's glowing at you. And it takes its, it just, it's oh, mad. Uh oh, yeah. Cyber Seeking, thank you for the subscription. I do appreciate it. Hmm, does it want to kick you? Or does it want to, actually, it's going to try to kick you. It rears back one big leg. And it hits you. <laughs> and... It wallops you for 19, and then what happens? Um, and then here, because of the force of the damage, <laughs> you, one, two, three, four, get kicked 20 feet. You are hurled 20 feet away. And you land there. Make me and uh, make me another deck save to see if you are able to land appropriately. Now, Anelius, he hits the wind. What happens when he does that? Uh, it depends on his turn, I believe. Uh, it, okay, yeah, nothing. He there's he, okay. there on his turn. He'll get uh, 2d6 bludgeoning. That's, okay, there wasn't anything, but he yeah, he can't really hear anything right now. Okay, so okay, so yeah, you uh, fall. I'm not going to beat you anymore with the uh, falling damage and all that. You basically just kind of fly across there, but you're you're prone on the ground right now, basically, um, from this creature. I'll drop it on there until it's your turn. You're on the ground. All right. Triani. You guys uh, wanted Triani a little challenge? I got some for you. Yeah, Trayoni is going to kind of um, shiver and huddle where she is. <laughs> Mr. Guardian. Going to have him try to strike out again. He's not doing so well. Crew Cash has finally met something that has loins that rival his own. He hit, he hit. Uh, we cannot let it live. <laughs> no, no, hurt me. Puny, puny creature. It's speaking. Oh, I'm gonna hurt you. 
I can't pass his turn. That's all he does. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Now they, the start of their turn, right? Do they get a save again? The, uh, well, the 13 is not in it, so he doesn't have to worry. Right. But these two, oh, thank you. Okay. You're right. You're right. Um, so this thing going to run back over here and I don't believe he has advantage on smell, but there is no absolutely way that he's going to, um, yeah, he's not even close to finding Mar who's stuck up in the tree there. So then he will, he's going to thinking that Mar's not there. He will, and he's got um, advantage on this. Uh, I've actually got a, I did the crit and the fumble already. Oh, got, um, and Devil Dog yeah, got the, uh, you got a fumble for you, dog, which you're going to have to use. All right, All right so then he um, is going to disappear for a moment. Now, what happens with this spell again, Anelius? Do they get a? They're starting their turn. They've already taken the damage. Do so they do that? What's it say? I need. I had it up. It, well, if they, it. if they end their turn there, so okay. it depends so, on what you do. Now this one, he took some damage from your spell. Did 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 either one take bludgeoning damage, or do they both uh, neither, save? Neither of them have taken bludgeoning okay. damage from the storm. Okay. Uh, two has taken bludgeoning damage from oh, shield well, guardian. That's fine. Well, they're fighting that. I'm just trying to see if they're smart enough to know that they need to get the hell out of the wind. And he doesn't move. That's what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to see they're not very bright. So they will first, he will do his attack. And... As they reeve or trying to pull that. Okay, so he just, he ends they his turn. They also disadvantage just to make sure that... While they're in there, they have disadvantage on their attacks. I thought it was on checks. I thought it was on their attacks. So let me double check on that. Yeah, check that. Okay, yeah, there are perception checks. Yeah, sorry. Yep, yeah, that's right. Okay, well, he his turn's done. So you want to give him the save or do whatever your whatever magic yep. you need to. All right. Yeah, I already uh, selected him. Yeah. So he's going to take some bludgeoning damage now. Now he knows that he needs to get the hell out of. Okay, so two knows he needs to move away next time. 20 didn't do anything, so he will um, bite. And then claw. All right, and now for them, you can for number twenty. Give him his his rolls, please. <laughs> he failed too. All right, so next time they will know. Boom. Crew cash. You are in a swirling wind, and will stand up. I would assume. Yes. So ten, all right. Took it off. Ten feet, right? Yes, sir. I'm going charging back at him. Okay. And we're going to stab him some more. You won't be rid of me that easy. No, nope, man, that's what I'm missing. Milius. Okay. I'm gonna attack this one with a firebolt. <gasps> Ouch. Nice. And I'm gonna attack that one. With the lightning. 
if I can okay. find it. <laughs> there it is. Do us raffle. Raffle time. Okay. I have to join the raffle. Oh, it's quite all right. Join the raffle, folks. Tomb log. It'll do my turn. All right. So, um, we'll play this out here. Uh, I'll go back <laughs> out. <laughs> okay. I will swing at him with um, tender, tender strike. strike. Mm hmm. Miss and then disengage. Yeah, gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Group. He's doing nothing. Okay, Mar, make me a perception check while you're sitting there, please. What was the total on that? Okay. He, uh, yeah, you're turning around and look around and he fi fi you see him. Uh, there's 13. Yeah. Yeah, it was easy for you to watch him try to blend into the tree because he's right on the other side of the tree stump from where you're at. <laughs> you're on one side, he's on the other. So, while he doesn't know I'm there, I'm yep. going to sneak my way over into the tree. Well, he see you run through the... through the. Uh, yeah, he doesn't get a, a shot on you, but he sees you run across. <laughs> okay. Is the uh, Does the big one know I'm there? No. Uh, you can roll. Well, he's got his eyes on crew cash right now, so he wouldn't have known you were running there. So I'll give you the stealth check there. The other one will see you kind of run across, but okay, that's, that's fine. He did use his fumble. I mean, he did. He rolled it. He rolled it. That was the two and he, he disengaged. All right. So roll, um, yeah, nothing happened. Unfortunately. All right. Um, so. So the big guy still doesn't know I'm there, or do I need to roll again? Oh, you're gonna, yeah, you're rolling your stealth check to get into the tree and all that, and so he's not seeing you run across there. So, but yeah, just roll me, roll your stealth, whatever you're doing there. All right, okay. Oh, hey, may have a chance on that one, but he's not watching you right now, the big boy. Okay. Um, then I will shoot the big one with advantage. Okay. Yep. Uh, That's fair. And I needed it. <laughs> that you did. And I'm going to try to shoot him again. Yeah. You missed something that big? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. You know what? Screw it. We'll action surge. Oh, dang. And we're gonna spin the dice. Let's see how this works. Let's see how smart is he? Aha! His disadvantage against everybody but me. Okay. And then I'll take my last shot. The effect on him, good. Okay. I'll go ahead and use my channel divinity and give him. Oh, Vini, you got to share the margaritas now. That's not fair. Oh, awesome. That's not fair at all. Then I'm going to use another dice. But have a good one. And we'll see you soon. Smack him. And let's see how strong he is. I, I have a feeling he's going to pass this one, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, no, he did the one. Wow. I just knocked him off. You knocked the gargantuan thing from. Yeah, he, the yeah, he trips. Goat. Yeah, he, he get hit and all, and he kind of, yeah, he's kind of stepping around, go, and oh, he could, but that's that may be uh, bad for a crew, you know, because he's falling. I'll throw my hand. Tender spot. Did you just kill another one of my trolls? You did. It's the one I've been beating up on, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I use a bonus action and throw my hammer again at the other one. Jeez, please. 
things. Okay. So he still has the disadvantage, but he has to stand up. So that takes 10 feet, but that's okay. He wasn't moving anywhere. And he's mad now. And he lifts up a foot. This time he's not kicking. He just basically... <laughs> I got a disadvantage and now an advantage. Well, now this one is... Well, that means it would cancel each other. Well, it wanted, I'd do one of the... It, it, yeah, yeah, it would, exactly. Well, he's but, got disadvantage on... Any, unless yeah. you're attacking Mar. Unless this you're attacking some, no, Mar. this is something else. This, the first one, he's got... Okay, so he basically... He's got two attacks, but this first one is he brings his foot up and he just... He's pissed. He stands up and he just slams it down on the ground. And... You're going to love this. I'm pretty sure we're not. Uh, Everyone in a 20-foot radius. Pretty oh, much. That's right. <laughs> pretty much. That's going to be... Yeah, it's on him. So I knew, I figured it was, I was making sure. So it's Tomb and Crew Cash. Um, here you go. Both of you guys get... Yeah, What's that, Jeff? Yeah, I know. But, yeah, so... You evade it, so you're not going to get any of it. And it, it should just, that should cancel it all out. Yeah, right? Yeah. And then Crew Cash takes this, yeah, just stomp. And he just, you know, you basically, you know, are sitting there and you kind of fly up in the air for a second and then land back down your feet as, you know, and you fall, you know, you, you take some stomp damage and he just kind of la he's kind of, no, and then he brings his foot fist up and up to uh, more, more, no more than five. Okay, so he doesn't get tomb lock on this one. Uh, he swings down, so his advantage with disadvantage. We're gonna even out, and he brings his fist down like he's gonna, he's wanting to plant you in the ground. Oh, he hits you with this, and then, all right, he, you know, he tried to push you, you know, he basically just tried to permanently make you a fence post in the ground, but you ward it off, and is there anything else? Um... Now, he should have gotten... Um, I said I'm looking at something. Oh, he did get it. Okay, good. All right. Um, Triani. Triani will stay huddled. <laughs> Shield Guardian. Shield Guardian will attack the other troll. Hit. Animus. He's going to move five feet there. Excuse me. Done. Bless you. And that'll be it, and I can't yep. push him, so... Yep, that's fine. All right, well, he knows now that he has to move. He did not like, so he will step out of... Well, thir that's not 13. That's not 13. Oh, sorry. Right? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't matter. Just saying. He's coming out. All right. So he, uh, let's see. This one will make a perception check. Was he sniffing? He knows he's sniffing something around. And he's got to be to 20. Oh, hell. When he comes running over here, looking for Mar, but can't find Mar. And we'll then. 
Alright, and try to jump back into the trees also. What's happening here? Alright, this one will step out as he kind of turns and he looks back toward it as he's looking at the guardian. Not liking um, whatever hit him in the back of the head. And auto miss. Alright. You want to push him five feet away? Five. Ten. He still would step back up. Just so you know. Didn't know if the shield guard didn't want to hit him or not. That's a miss. Hey, belt buttons. And another miss, right? Boom. We're kind of in the, in the middle of a wandering monster battle. That bang. Kind of a new encounter oh, set up. Oh, can we have another wandering monster on top of the one? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> can we have We've another hill before. giant? You want another one? We've Push. done that before. Crew cash. Uh, my leg's made of wood. I'm not fence post, though. That's true. He was, that's, But he thought you were. You were. He was going to, I'm going to rip it up and beat you over the head with it. I will repeatedly stab him in the toe. <laughs> and Ilias. Okay. I will... Firebolt that one. And... Attack him with some lightning. Okay. Oh. I will, however... Be frozen? Is that on... That's on you! Yes, it is, because it was a critical fumble, but I'm going to ignore it, because I'm oh. lucky. <laughs> and, and choose to hit instead. Okay. All right. Let's let's try this one more time. Tumlock's gonna step out of the sphere. He's going to take tender strike and try and pry this hill troll's toenail off. No. Yeah. That's a sad thing, true, if you're Lady Bang, if you're really trying to learn from him. It's sad. It's so sad. <laughs> and uh, I will disengage back into the, into the sphere because, yeah. I know, just keep... Run away! And run away. <laughs> Droop. He's yeah. hiding. All right, Mar, you can... It depends on whether you want to, who you're going to attack. Are you going to try to look for the troll that's hiding back behind there no. again? He's going to while Corona. he's yeah. hiding for everybody. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and then he's going to bonus action to stealth. And then my question is, does the big hill troll know I'm there? Let's see. That roll. Let's see. No. So as I going to shoot him with the crossbow. Critical hit from Mar, really? No, well, do that hit. You got a second okay. attack, right? Yes. Yeah, you got a critical. Just bought for Let me you. Open the, uh, library. Well, thank you for the crit. That was, that um, was uh, harmony pineapples. <laughs> yep, that was pineapples. Target must be a successful D your con level or receive disadvantage for next hack or two enemy. Okay, so he's got to make a 20, basically. Con mm -hmm. save. Ooh, well, he might be able to do that. He does. Okay. Well, 
then we're going to use a dice to see if we can change that. Um, let me check that DJ. I may have not cleared it out the store from last Oh, week. I forgot to hit critical. Um, shit. Uh, I'll just set the what, double, uh, just double that. Well, double uh, when, when you get dies. the modifier, yeah. So add seven on your it. seven damage. Hold on a second. All right, I was fixing something in the stream store. Fixed it, DJ. All right, so I had seven to it. What you were saying to that damage, right? Yes, sir. Um, okay. And then he has disadvantage against everybody but the Mar. Yeah, it's back on there again. Gotcha. Okay. Kaz. All right, throwing my hammer at number 20 again twice. Come on, ones. Oh my god. Well, apparently the crew just wants to keep y'all in fighting mode all this session. They're, they're trying to make us level again. That's all. Well, you're going to. I'm concerned this may have just thrown this at y'all and leveled y'all up for this. The whole. This encounter by itself. <laughs> oh, That'd be kind of cool. <sighs> All right. Uh, I get a feat for my next two levels. Yeah. Um, yeah. I gotta give me a second, DJ. I gotta get through this. Uh, and I get an extra right. speed die next level. All right. What's he going to do? Um. Mm. All right. Well, he will. He's didn't like getting popped by that, and so. He will. Hmm. He's gonna stomp again. So now. Which I have a question on this one because I just remembered I have the um, okay. danger sense. I'm I have advantage on dex throws from effects that originate within 30 feet of me. It lists traps and spellcasters as mm -hmm. like it. Such as a trapper spellcaster, would this be considered an effect that I'd get advantage on? Because I see it happening. Yeah. Because I it works for my evasion too. So dodge away from there. You have advantage on saving throws against effects that originate. It's not an effect. It's actually an attack. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah, uh, yeah. It says it just says stop. Effect it's, is kind of vague. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's dangerous. So something surprise is a tra you know, our, our spellcaster within that range. Because he can use it against a fireball. Why couldn't he use it against the shockwave? He can see a guy trying to stomp him. Yeah, so, so that basically, it melee weapon, each creature in a 10 foot radius burst center on the hill troll must make a DC saving, the deck saving throw, or take the bludgeoning damage on a failed or half as much on a successful one. So. I mean, it doesn't really specify you have advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects that originate within 30 feet of you, such as a trap. But yeah, basically a trap could be, yeah, I guess you would, you know? I mean, it doesn't, it, it's it's a dex saving throw, and it doesn't say it's from an attack. You know, well, what's the effect mean? But the effect is the burst, I guess, you know? So we probably, um did I not code? Yeah, that may be something I know I've coded before for people, but not. Um, yeah, you've got it. No. Well, well it's you can just hit advantage whenever you roll it. Yeah, but yeah. danger sense is coded for you. It's coded wrong on your character on the actions tab. It's built in with your rage, and it shouldn't be. I don't know why it's done that. No, I that. just threw it in there. Oh no, yeah. So yeah, you, it's we're gonna code that as you have advantage on uh, dexterity saves. We need to have that coded so that it's an effect that's on you from now on. Like evasion is on me. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So then we don't have to worry about it anymore. All right. Uh, should be in the effects tables that you have. Uh, oh yeah, it is in there. Danger sense. Uh, danger sense. Shit yeah, is here. Okay, so. All right. And 
and Duff, you now have another critical. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, thanks a lot. Um, okay, so what did I... I haven't done anything yet. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so he's going to... But he's not stomping. He's thinking, hmm, hmm, hmm. He's going to slam first. He's going to beat you in the head. And he hits. And he then... See if he can... Okay, so he knocks you down. And then he's going to... He goes... And he, he rolled a success, though. Oh, he did. Oh, shit. I saw I saw it success. I thought it was mine. My bad. Never mind. Here. Doesn't matter anyway. Thank you. I read that wrong. And then he's... Uh, he was trying to see if he was setting you up for a punt. Uh, and then he swings back with his leg. And... And then he... And <laughs> stomp, kick, and punt. Boom. All right. Turyani. This round, she will be staying where she is. All right. And then I got the fumble we'll do. The, oh, I got to do the monster. Ugh. What are we going to do this time? What's going to show up? All right. Shield Guardian's going to move this. there. The range. And. F Alright, well, what did you. Oh, hell, I gotta go back and look through this again. What did you roll for your stealth? Effect, effect. That's the critical hit. Mar, stealth. Okay, there it is. Alright, so he's going to sniff, 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 sniff. And he's got to be to 20. And he rolled a 15, so no, once again. Well, they're just playing this game hide and go seek over here. He runs. And he comes running across the field, sniffing around, can't find him, gets upset, and then they are just, ooh, he doesn't roll well. So this, that's going to beat every, most of everybody's passive perceptions, even alone at that will. He doesn't hide too well this time. This one. Hmm. Well, he doesn't like the ongoing battle. These two are. Ooh, oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, hell, I'm not doing that. Give me a break. Oh, I've got a. F oh, my bad. I got to do this one as a fumble. This night last attacks at a fumble that it was bought for me. Thanks a lot. Um, critical fumble. Oh, yay! Ha, ha, ha. The opposite of what we want. I get to reroll the attack. And I still miss. Okay. Cruel cash. You pick yourself I'm up off the ground. Stand up. Man. Runs over. I will not back down from this challenge. <laughs> I 
I keep oiling away at his toes. He'll fall eventually. Yeah, you're just taking, you're giving him a toenail trim. Awful nice of you. And a little man, a little pedicure. Nice. The crew cash way. Put, push back his cuticles, make them, you know, look yeah. nice and shiny. Yeah. All right, Nilius. Oh, I've got to do this damn. Sure. Um. And let's see. Okay, so I'm going to be casting a spell at a slightly higher level, so I just have to modify it. Well, assuming I hit, I guess. Okay. There's no swamp now he's here. got some acid coming his way, and okay, he's gonna have some lightning coming his way. If I can find it again, there we go. Okay. Oh, let's see. What does Tumak want to do? Uh, he'll come out. Yeah, DJ, I'm trying to figure out what it is. Go ahead there, Tomb. Sorry. And he will, uh, again strike out at this hill troll's toe and try to pry a toenail off. <laughs> and then he'll disengage back into the, the sphere. So, I guess you can just clear his movement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Figured as much. Moves. Okay. And that should be it. Alright. He's just hiding. Mar. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> yeah. And then he's going to try Ooh. to stealth. And then my question is, does the big one know I'm there? Yeah, hold on. He's got a... You... That's a... Wisdom check. Gotta beat a 16. No! Damn it, he doesn't see you. Oh, that's wow. Yeah, I'll shoot him a second time. Oh, good to hit. And we're gonna spam the dice. And let's see if we can keep disadvantaging him. Yes. And that's all Mar has. All right. Well, <laughs> this is gonna piss him off. Oh. All right. What are we gonna put this one? All right. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna love me. You're gonna love me. Love me. All Dragon. Right. Dragon. No. A the big the hill troll um had been stomping on the ground in these in these pummels that he's doing um in the earth have sent some shock waves deep down and they attracted the attention of some earth elementals who have burrowed their way up and lucky for them they pop up inside the hut 
You're welcome. That's you funny. Want, you wanted a challenge? I gave you a challenge. Because that is a hemisphere, not a full circle. That is correct. However, they would be in pretty tight quarters for them where they are. Yeah, they come. I, I could either come up underneath you and fling you out of it or just come up underground where they don't hit you. You could. That's how I did it. I just said that if they had some open space, they came up through there just to start raising up. Now, I will give you an opportunity for y'all that are in it to move if you so choose. <laughs> <laughs> the beast fly away. <laughs> Earth, yeah, Earth glide. They can burrow. Doesn't just. Ah, well, they're not supposed to disturb the material they move through, but you guys, you know, hell, everything going on. Here they come. And they are attracted to... Actually, you know what? He wouldn't stomp over here. He would actually be here from the stomping. So. I'll make it fair that way. All right. Number 10. Um, what do we got here? He has got... See, what's the siege do? Double damage. Oh, no. In and out objects. Okay. So, he basically... Rings an attack down on Tomb Lock. And misses. Well, they're just going to be in the party. Lots of fun. Oh. Boom. I'm trying to make you a post. And boom. Ow. Is this thing? It's neutral. Hmm. Let's see. If it rolls, let's see. Does it want to attack Crew Cash or would it attack the giant? Hmm. What is the. Well, he's neutral too. Hmm. What would they do? Um. Actually, he's going to... Him and the hill troll are kind of distant. They're distant cousins. You know what? So, you're going to... We wouldn't want it easy on you guys. You need a little bit of a challenge. So, it's going to hit crew cash. All right. Kaz. All right. I'm still... Trying to take out that troll. Damn it. Not with that. <laughs> oh, I wonder I'll if, use another I wonder if you hit action. the uh, shield guardian with your hammer. <laughs> no, you're fine. I've, I've, you. ripped, I've, ripped, an, I've, ri I've ripped enough uh, you know, combat on you guys for tonight. Oh, that's not fair. Dang it. Kill my troll. All right. This thing. All right. It will, however, it will stomp again this time, seeing all this going on. So that's going to take two elementals and two, but yeah, okay. So two mocks not going to get anything from the stomp, but the other ones possibility can. Now, what do the elementals have? Damage, vulnerabilities, resistance. Okay, so I've got like exhaustion, parallel. Okay, all right. So that's the three of you guys. Will and crew. Everybody failed. All right, and then it will swing down again on crew. Trying to plant him in the ground. And does not. Triani. Triani. We'll stay where she is. 
All right, Shield Guardian. Well, not having any other target to mess with. It will. Shield Guardian's turn is still on. Oh, thought you were done. Sorry. My bad. Oopsie Daisy, what are you doing? Fireball. How do you do that with the I thought That's it was the spell I put in them. You can call I thought the I thought the guardian had to do I thought it had to fire off. I can on, all I can also telepathically you can? tell it to Okay. Do. Okay. Alright. Yep. Gotcha. I see it now. All right, you've got a uh, hill giant that's a hill troll that's going to take this damage. Uh, it should also be the elemental. Uh, yep, he's on. Uh, all right. It's, well, hold on. You've got. You got to put it up. <sighs> How's that for you? Usually it's in this. Yeah, it won't get crew cash that way. Usually I put it in the center of a square to measure it right because it's. Because then that that uh, changes the dynamics of it. Actually, makes it a full twenty. It actually, that actually makes it not work right, because then you can't actually get full the uh, full squares properly. Um, usually, when I see uh, um, Sage Advice uh, do things, it does it from the they do it from a square. square. Yep. Hmm. Well, when they say center, though, but like so, yeah. center from my location uh. or whatever location I pinpointed at, that's where it's coming from. So it's right. twenty. Yep. So oh, they're lit up there, yeah. so that's fine. You're good. I'm trying to also make sure I miss Droop. Droop has had enough. He's uh, out of it. Yeah, he's out of it. Yeah, you're good with him. It's it, Their icons show up a little red there, so that means they're affected by it. And okay. the other two do not. And I was going to do one other thing. The... No, I've already used it. Won't do that. <laughs> ah, fire, our best friend. And that will be the guardian's last uh, you know, turn. Got you. Let's see. All right. So now we'll back over here. And he will bite. And then claw. And claw. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yep. Crew, you're up. All right. We have them right where we want them, everyone. We're surrounded. We can attack in all directions. <laughs> Sounds good. And we're going to keep poking at the troll. Nilius, sorry. Right there. I cast Erupting Earth. Alright, let me see what this does. Either it does damage and uh, the area is now considered uh, um, the difficult terrain. Wouldn't the uh, casting of another spell make you lose concentration on the 
big. It's not a concentration of... spell. Oh, Passing I thought in. it was. Mm -mm. No, nope. corrupting spell is an instantaneous non-concentration spell. Yep. Yeah, you can still cast other things while you're concentrating. It just can't be another yeah, concentration. A concentration one. Yeah, right. Gotcha. Okay. And I'll leave this. Square didn't quite go where. Uh, it's okay. I'm going to leave the square there to uh, show where the difficult yep. terrain is. Gotcha. Yep. Fair enough. And as a bonus. <laughs> does a gargantuan creature really care about difficult terrain or some small rocks? Nah, it does not. Probably not, but it's no. still there. Yep. But we'll also hit the uh, hill troll with some lightning. Or at least attempt. <laughs> gotcha. Like I said, attempt. Alright. Tomb lock. <laughs> Alright, quick question. Yes. How did you cast two spells? He got... has the channeled effect from the storm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what would be the weight of one of these earth elementals? Uh, they are um, large elementals. I'm guessing about five thousand pounds. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, full s s solid stone, and I mean, you know, dirt and stone in them, and all that. Um, all right. So, Tumlock is going to disengage. Uh, Come on. Uh, let's see. I can't go there. So, were you going to try and pick one up? I, I was going to try and levitate one, yes. Um, no, it's too heavy for you. He'll disengage to there. And uh, that wouldn't give me advantage against no. that troll, would it? Mm -hmm. I didn't think so. Doesn't matter, I'm still going to stab at it with Tinder Strike because, you know, yep. Tinder Strike. And that should be everything I can do. Droop. He is hiding in the tree. Mar. Mar is going to try to use Iron Fang and dominate one of these uh, Earth Elementals. Alright. It belongs to Mar now. And Mar's going to tell it to big fight the big <laughs> ugly troll, and that's all he can do. Oh, no, I take that back. As a bonus action, he's going to be sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back up a second. So tell me, what the hell have I got to do now? What did you uh, just do to me? The one I just charmed is now Mar's bestest best bud, and he told it to attack the big hill troll. And so that's what it's going to do. So this Which... one, number 10... Number ten, he's gotcha. Okay. So he's gonna have to come. Oh, out. he's got oh, the, the sad face. Yeah, on it. I see that. I just saw the smile, the sad face on it. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you're saying that he has to. It's move. attack the hill, uh, the hill uh, troll thing. Yeah. So one, two. So he can only move here, but it doesn't matter because he's on. He's not stepping that far. Thirty feet, and then he will. Um. Now can they ch charm? What the, what charm a f spell is that? Hold on now. It's uh, dominate monster from Iron Fang. There you go, dominate mon. Okay, I was like, wait. It can on. only be used against uh, Earth Elementals. The, where, it can, it's exactly what it needs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. I, I for, uh, Iron Fang. I'm just checking. I so that's I've totally forgotten. Birth mastery, you gain the following benefits. You dominate on an earth. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I did, totally forgot it had done that. So he just made it go boom. Okay, so there was a hit. And then he will hit it again. And slam. And oh, and not fair, you old mound. All right, this guy. Oh, Let's see. Even K 
Marquez, Odd, Anilius. Oh, Anilius, Earth Elemental slam you. Wait. <laughs> All right. Doing. Still hits me. Okay. Doesn't the shield guardian absorb some damage or something? Yeah, like the that? shield guardian takes half of whatever I take. Nah, and I'll use my reaction to attack him as he steps away from me. And uh, wait on that one that you just did. Uh, I miss. Um, still misses. All right, still hits. Still hits. So hold on. So we're gonna have. Oh wait a minute! No. Where was it? I'm. Yes, yes, hits. Okay, so I keep, I'm just trying to I go see... through all the numbers here. Yeah. So there was uh. Twenty-three and seventeen, so forty points. So, so twenty goes to the guardian. And twenty comes off of you. If you'll... Well, right. I was. Twenty-three was the attack roll. Fourteen was the damage of the first one. Yeah, oh, fourteen gotcha. and seventeen were the uh, the damage. To Thirty-one me. then. Yeah. So Which just, I actually only received 18 of that. So 9 goes to the Guardian and I get 9 back. Does it differentiate temporary health from normal? I. I it doesn't say so. So It says half any damage to the wearer takes. Round it up. Okay. I say I consider losing temp HP still deadly damage. Okay. So, so I guess so I fixed myself. Okay. And then you... I can't do anything about the Guardian. So how much do I need to put onto him? How many? How many? Uh, 15 or 16. I, it's I'm not 16 rounded up. 16 rounded up. 6, 7, 82. Okay. Okay. Hey, done. Alright, that's his attacks. Um, he's still waiting. Is, hmm. is the Guardian actually getting its regen? It has been. Every turn? Has been. Okay, I wasn't. I haven't been paying attention. Yeah. Yeah, it should yeah, be coded. It. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Alright, so he will. It'd be much worse off if it wasn't right now. He's not even under 100 yet. Mm hmm. Yeah. Alright. Kaz. All right, I'm going to move up to crew and give him a little bit of healing. Okay. And I will take a couple steps back. <laughs> and use my action surge and throw my hammer at the giant hill troll. I think it missed. That's a it's a side of a mountain. <laughs> it's, look at it more of yeah, it, it was ineffective and just didn't damage him. He didn't hit him hard. <laughs> it just bounced off. Hit the hit the goat off of it. So I have a question, Duff. Does rock. fire yep. not stop um, hill troll regeneration like it does regular ones? Or if it, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yep. It's it's and it's coded on there. So who I just. Who gave us Does fire Tinder strike damage. not count as fire? Yeah, if he hits with it, yeah, it's been adding it on there. I've hit him. Yeah, I think it's been coding it as fire, but he's still regenerating. Is he? Regen. Yeah, it just said he healed thirty hit points. Shh. They made me think when they were talking about the yeah, shield giant. Yeah, so uh, it's but, interesting. It's got the effect. On them, um, because the I saw the forest trolls were taking the damage and not regenerating from them. Um, where's the forest troll? Let me see if this is sitting right. Where is he? Regen. I never hit one of the forest trolls. Oh yeah, but they yeah, had. Uh, yeah, they've, there's been a couple other fire hits. Um, and watching it because the effect is regen, fire, acid, and fire. Unless it, that's the, hmm. 
Okay, so you're saying, let me see, where was that at? And it came in. Attack. Uh, the damage, hilt. tender strike. No, type, it's right there. Fire magic. I hit yeah. him with a fireball. Yeah, you did. So why was that effect not on there? Okay, well, I'll take that. I'll add that back in there. We're going to watch that again. So that's through heal 30. So that is... Okay, one second. All right, I'll put it back. Hmm. Well, he is going to... He likes the punting. Oh, he kicked crew. Oh, wow. And then. Um, that was big damage. And. Put some there. And then he didn't like this elemental. So he reaches over, tries to. Would I go through the elemental, or am I going like You're over, over? I just push it. It just fling you up and over. So, um, and he just slammed the earth elemental. And does he put it on the ground? And he puts him on the ground. So what's that mean? He saves whenever he takes damage. Save against the charm of the dominate so he's still charmed right there is that correct yes, he's still okay. charmed thank you okay triani how oh, we can i have one battle for the whole damn session <laughs> what are we tuesday's night tuesday's yeah. tuesday night group or something this is funny this is funny let's try to get y'all moving along critical fumble for who oh that's for tomb lock you got a fumble now timmy From one rogue to another. Shield Guardian. That's all good. Hit. Hit. Okay. And that'll be it. Okay. All right, so he, yeah, see, now like that one, he, well, uh, I don't think anything to hit him fire-wise. So I, I don't like, think he's lost his regen yet. Yeah, no, it's because it's no interesting. All right, so he took that regen, and then he will miss on the bite, hit on the first claw, hit on the, or... Auto miss on the second one. Okay, crew cash. <laughs> what you gonna do with that roll? Let's see. <laughs> We're charging. Oh, I can't make it because I have to go around this stupid elemental. So he swings at the elemental on the way by. Yeah, the elemental will pop you if he, you know, took a shot. You have range, though. You can hit him from 10 feet away, right? Not with the trident. So oh, I'm on my God. glaive back. Yeah, he doesn't have his glaive yet. All right, well, I'll use my 30 to get to there. And, uh... Now, he's facing the Nilius, so you would be behind the elemental if you want to. That's what the wisdom check was for. He's oh, not paying you. attention to it. Oh, I he, he failed. He's him. going straight back to the uh... hill. Hill, dude. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's see, I threw those. Hell anyway, yeah! Listen, I'm I'm gonna throw a dagger at it. <laughs> and ouch. That'll be his turn. Mosquito bit me. Anilius. Anilius is going to go... Take a pop from the troll. 
Yep. Okay. Oh, critical and that's Anilius. a case for Anilius. Um, the uh, storm thing is gonna, is it's not coded to do concentration on it. Oh, that would drop it off. Thank you. Wow. Okay, we need to wonder. I wonder how to repair that. Okay. Thank you. That for was the roll. Duck, how long you longer get... it was around, anyways, because yeah. did didn't you come take up your advantage already? Either. It was bought uh, for you. What's I it? had an advantage. I thought you. Yeah. You had an advantage, and I have it coded in here, so. I don't know um, if you took it or not. I did an um Yeah, I, I did. Remember earlier there was one where I was given the disadvantage and I had an advantage and I rolled it even money. So, gotcha. yeah, you can take that off for me. And then you still got the fumble and Anilis has got the crit. What I show. Right? Okay. Holy moly. You receive advantage on all attacks for the remainder of the encounter. Or they have disadvantage. Or they have, yeah, yeah. Your decision. Well, I'm going at the hill troll, so. What would you like it to be? Oh, I didn't need to roll. It was supposed to be a critical. That's oh, right. I think it's, yeah, but it's still good. It's, it's, it's still going to give it the fire. Yeah, the fire is okay. So that wow. shows fire. Yes, that I don't is fire. Know. On the hill troll. Yeah, I'm trying to see, and I can't... I thought it would put an effect on... Hmm. Thank you, pineapples. What... Yeah, I want to see what happens when we rule... when we do this one next. Um... Okay. Okay, I don't get to do the extra pop this time, so that's it. All right, so uh, Tumlock is going to um, fumble as he attacks this hill troll. <laughs> okay, I guess he's going to hump the leg of the hill troll. He's going to fall in love with the hill troll and become a puppy dog. Okay. By the way, I think you need to put eight damage on the shield guardian, and I'll take it off of my Got character. you. Thank you. Done. So I can't even disengage. So yeah. No, you uh, unfortunately, he'll he'll take care of that in a moment for you. He's going, <laughs> he's going to shake his leg. <laughs> it, it's a fun ride. I've, I've taken it multiple times now. <laughs> We're just gonna give that. He's just gonna go ahead and throw you, yeah, give you some damage, and throw you off. All right, Mar. Uh, Mar is gonna be sneaky. Does the big one know he's there? How can he? I mean, that's just like got to be the hell no. I was going to say, the big one's probably distracted by me humping its yeah, leg. Yeah, he's got this thing humping his leg. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah. Does it even notice? He, he, well, he, he just, yeah. It, does he? It's like having an ant on your leg. Yeah, he does. He's like, yeah, he's got something down there and he's, you know, he's like, he's kind of shaking his leg a little like, you know. Like he's got a niche. Oh, that actually's fast. Oh. 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 Oh, then we'll play it for you. Yeah. Earth the Elemental finding. 10. Now, he's still charmed. All right. So he will slam away. Um, he's got to come up off the ground, though. So there was that. But he still got his hit. And then he will do another attack and miss. All right. He hit while on the ground, got up, and didn't hit. Yeah, exactly. Um, hmm. He will turn and face. What's. Evens, crew, odds, Kaz. All right, he'll face Kaz. Miss. Miss. Alright. And. Hmm. 
We can't see inside the dome. That thing goes, is that a concentration spell too, the dome? No. No. It's a, It's just a 10 hour, an eight hour spell. Yeah, so it just flies off. Okay, well, hmm. That's a good question. They're neutral. So. I mean, he saw the hill giant smack the other earth elemental. Yeah, so and he wouldn't know. Yeah, that's probably true. I'll play that. I'll play that round that way. I'm just trying to see. Is it bound? No, it just really calms their strength and magic. Stone. All right. Well, you're lucky. He's going to. He doesn't like him smacking his friend. How convenient is that? All right, Kaz. All right, I'm going to move next to Crew Cash and administer a greater potion of healing upon his... himself. Loin cloth for you. Easy access. Up the loincloth, yep. And then that is my turn. Okay, so it's not... Something's going on with the coating then. Um... Because yeah, it healed. It healed. Yeah, exactly. Um, that is the. I'm gonna take this off, and I'm gonna put this effect on. But it's supposed to be now. Really strange why it's not working. Alright, and he has all these guys. But I need to put that, it was 30. That is. Okay. That's back on, and hmm, he's got, he will try to hit the humping as he will turn and first try to hit the humping. Good luck to him. I'm going to take half that damage, by the way. Choose which one first. Alright, so you take half that, and then... Alright, so he just kicks you off. You're not prone, and then he will well he saw he knocks you off and then he kicks you. And oh, same. Didn't Tumok succeed the strength check? Yeah, he doesn't knock him down. The, the strength, he just knocks, he just was to knock him off. He just kicks, he just knocks him off and he was going to kick him away, but he doesn't. He, because I think the kick, dexterity throw will be hurled 20 feet away. So he just basically, he, he cocks him off his leg. Basically all he's done. Now, Triani. Sorry, I stepped away. Uh, That's right. Guardian. I've got so many creatures here. Okay. I don't think I need to do that. I wonder if that's it. So let me see. And that was a miss. So that is Shield Guardian's turn. Okay. Backs. All right. Let's see if that helps next. Uh, fire. Okay. Well, he will. Yep. He will bite. And then claw. Brute. 
Nah, I'm taking the op attack. Hill trolls are a gargantuan creature. This new one. Are right, you gonna take the op attack from the elemental, which is just gonna be a slam, and gives you some bludgeoning? Okay. All right. And we're going back to work on this troll. <laughs> I'm dedicated. Committed. <laughs> well, when you're not very bright. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. You don't have to be bright, you just have to be pretty. Oh, man. <sighs> All right. We almost got him, boys. Nilius. Keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> it's just a, it's a battle of attrition is all this is. Okay, so first I am going to strike out at the fire. Uh, I'm sorry, the hill troll with fire. Missed. And miss. I'll use uh, my. Wait, I don't think I can use that on magic. Mm. Oh, it's plus 10 to any roll. Yeah. It's just so. stupid. That would hit, would it not? Yeah. So. Yes. Yep. So. so get a little fire damage on him. Yeah, and I'm trying to see now. That should show. Huh. Now let me try something here. I want to. There's ten. That was ten damage to the fire. I'm trying to. I put it on the. F the. F fire troll, and I'm trying to see. The um, it's like it's not taking the f okay, it did take the it dis it did disable the regen on the fire troll, it tells me in the combat tracker, but it did not put that effect on the hill troll. Hmm, so something. it could be as simple as a capital letter in the coding somewhere or space. Well, but it's I dragged just the I dragged that damage just straight onto the uh, and I got rid of the effect. I recoded it just like it was on the fire troll, and so it takes out the effect. It went off of him, so he can't regen. But it is not doing it at all. On yeah, interesting. As a, as a bonus, I am going Go ahead. to yep. uh, healing word on crew. I'm going to remove the effect so that that. Um, doesn't it's now off, so it will not regen. Hey, okay. wonder if that may help and maybe resets it again after it's done. Tomb lock. All right, so I I assume that I'm no longer in the process of trying to hump this thing. Yeah, he's he's, he's knocked you off. Yes. Um. So would i remember doing that probably so i'm gonna hang my head in shame i don't feel bad mar does it all the time and and then i'm gonna strike at him with tinder strike because it's shameful you're ashamed oh Ooh, really nice. really yeah, really really? Ashamed. really this is gonna hurt damn it it's gonna hurt a lot maybe drop it yeah yes. yeah <laughs> Leave it to the critical strike from Tomb Lock. I want a deck save from you. A deck save? I want okay. a deck save from you. Ooh, ooh, uh, oh, no! Oh, no. Wow. oh, that's gonna hurt. My last gasp of effort gives him some bludgeoning damage as he slams down on top of Tomb Lock. There you go. Have some of that when you... Oh, really? It had to be the lowest? Oh, it's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> just sad. <laughs> he would have dodged it anyways. <laughs> no, I didn't. I that, actually uh, that was failed the, the deck save. Yeah, he failed it. That was the dodge. <laughs> okay. right, I gave so him some love on the dead way down. 
I, I guess uh, that would be the end of my turn. <sighs> All right, Drew. Just hanging out in the tree. Mar. Well, since the big one fell down, he's going to shoot the little one. His hide and seek, oh, buddy. Papa. Papa. He's been training blows with the shield guardian for like ever now. And the sad thing is they're both regenerating 10 hit points around. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then he'll try to be sneaky. Yeah. Alright. Well, this thing, what happens now that it's not charmed with a hill troll? It, it's still under my control and it's a free action. I will tell it to smack the other earth elemental. That can make things interesting. Can it? Can it hit one of its own? And is it like a charm? Um, is it like it a charm? can't directly follow anything that makes it hurt itself. I don't think there's any other okay. stipulations to yeah, what you can do. I couldn't do. remember what the charm. We haven't used the charm spell in forever. I'm like, what? All right. Well, then they're gonna get in a slapping fight. Yeah, great. So, okay, this one has Kaz in front of them. And they're resisting each other's damage. Yeah. Alright, Kaz, something just dropped off of you. Oh, concentration check, so crew's no longer at plus two AC. Okay. That can come off of them then. Um, and then... Then yeah, he turns and yeah, he's gonna, yeah, they're just gonna have a childish bitch slap fight with each other, apparently. Oh, this is just sad. What the hell was that? Oh, because I had to make sure. He yep. Yep. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm throwing my hammer at uh. Number seven? Yes. Triani. Triani will sit right there. Shield Guardian. Nah, I'm not doing that. Let's give him the damage. Boo. How much time? All right. And decides to miss on the next one. Yep. All right. So this one. All right. So now he got to reach in. To do that right. And then this. Attack. Attack. Right. Crew. All right. Well, we're going to turn, and I think this guy hit me. So I'm going to start smacking him now. No, oh, wait. He's facing a little bit. Yeah, you can give me another roll. Give him another no, shot. do it on the next one. I, oh, that was a miss. Why did I do that? I don't know. Oh, well. Why'd you do I'm that? Done it. That was uh, okay. which one? That's office. So do here, do a strike here. If you get a hit, take that damage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're good. Okay. So then the next ones will be the advantage. Correct. Double check it before I just autopilot into smacking it. <laughs> okay, and that means. Nope. Okay. I was thinking about smart enough to step right inside that tent where he can't find me. 
I'm not. <laughs> okay. You're too proud to do that. That's right. All right, Anilius. Okay, so I'm going to step forward a little bit to the edge of the uh, curtain, so to speak. <laughs> right. And Firebolt. Okay. So that hit him with the fire. Yeah, it's time to start, start uh, knocking down his uh, regeneration. Hmm. Boom. Alright, let's see. Yep, he can make it. The bonus action would be him dashing, and I can still get my attack. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no disengaging. Yeah. If I die, I die. No big deal. You are close to the edge. He lives on the edge. A man on the edge. Ah, yes. He is a true warrior now. You've never lived until you're one hit point away from death living. I've been there. <laughs> and that will be it. One health is enough health. Mar. <laughs> Mar is going to come out of his tree. And he's going to smack this thing with the iron fang. Because he wants to chip away the rock. He's looking for a diamond. And he missed. Yeah, they're going to enjoy oh, the XP but he did in this one. Got a big old wallop, just like the Hill Giants slam. That was a lot of XP. And that's it. There it goes. All right, so it's bitch slap time. And then this one. And then you came over and hit it, so he's going, he's kind of confused, but he doesn't like getting hit. Alright. You keep you keeping that iron. F yes, I want to drop that, it. Uh, it's on. Kaz. All right, I'm going to throw my hammer at number seven. Now. That missed. Never mind. Priyani. So move there. Uh, apologize, I was off uh, off the map. Okay. Shield Guardian. Move there ish. And that'll be his turn. For cash. Nah, I'm gonna keep smacking this earth elemental and he's facing Mar now. Is that still flanking from this angle or no? Yeah. Uh it's good enough. Okay. my turn. Nilius. I'll target that one. Because it seems that's the thing to do right now. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. We're going to uh, go there. There, yep. And we are going to strike at this earth elemental with tender strike. And so much dying. <laughs> that should be it. Droop. Hey, he will stay in his tree. Mar. Well, since his friend went away. No, your friend's still there. Well, my other friend. He'll go back here and smack this guy. Well, now, can you see inside the dome? You can pass through uh, it, but can you see in it? He can't see in it. Yeah, so you oh, I can't? To, okay, yeah. then I'll go right there. That's what I was thinking. Yep. And I'm going to smack him. Or empty. Bad rock. And since... That Earth Elemental can't come in here. My, I'll use my free action to tell him to uh, run as far away as he can get. Far, far away. <laughs> just in time to give Mar a fumble. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anything and else? that's it. All right. Well, he begins to... he. So running, he does he have well running to them would be burrowing, so he would just take off and go burrow into ground. Yes, okay, and spend the next hour yep. burrowing as far away from us as possible. All right, well, we're gonna smack you. Apparently, not. Kaz. I'll try to go and flank him and get some advantage. Okay. Triani. She'll move up there. You're going to think her and Droop are a thing. Shield Guardian. Could be, could be. Shield Guardian will move there. And that'll be it. Yep. Crew Cash. Um, well, I'll head back into the tent. Now we're going to poke at the remaining lemon. Hit. 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 And that'll be it. Nilius. I'm going to move there. Alrighty. The Missoula. Tumlock. All right, Tumlock will go there. Yep. And attack this Earth Elemental with Tinder Strike. No. Never. He hates Tinder Strike. And that should be it. Group. Neil, stay where he is. Mar. Mar smash? Nope, nope. Mar doesn't smash. <laughs> what level of exhaustion? Mar skin tired. All this fight. Time. It, it was all that hide and seek. Reagan <laughs> smash. Reagan tired. <laughs> and that's it. 
Well, he's just burrowing, so he's off the track now. And... Oh, and you forgot your fumble. Oh! Yeah, I'll roll it on the next one. My bad. That's alright. So he fumbled anyways. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. He's got all these targets. Turns to face the rogue. Yes. Hit. I'll take half the damage. <laughs> it may not matter. Uh, oh, no, he's still alive. He is still oh, alive yeah. by four, right? Um, he died by yeah. one, so you yeah. half of it is five, so you've got four, so that would be... There you go. Okay. And let me take... All right. And how many? It's, that was the second attack, right? So, yep. Wait. First one missed. Second. Okay, there we go. Kaz. <laughs> They're almost done. I'm going to close the door. Close the off at 1030. So we're close. Just one more monster. He's getting there. They wanted it. They wanted a challenge, so they got it. Guardian. Let's we'll move over five feet. All right. Let's we'll stay right there. All right, crew. We we'll just start <laughs> waylaying on this thing. I content. Oh well, maybe not. There's a hit. And another miss. There it is. I do uh, cure late wound or cure wounds on. Boom. Okay. Damn. <laughs> that sucked. Hey, Mark. All right. I'm going to uh, attack this Earth Elemental again. Come on, 20. No, wrong <laughs> direction. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. It's gonna suck. I jinxed myself. So I'm gonna go over here <laughs> and hide in shame. Come back. He says, come back. Alright. I mean, literally hide in shame. Right in the middle. Cower in the middle of the field. Alright, Droop. Nay will just hide. Yep, Mar. Mar will uh, swing and a miss. No, nope, well, he gets to take a pop back at me. Yeah, he does. All right. And then uh, he's going to swing a second time. And that's all he's got. And then he'll turn and just continue on with the pop. And miss. Kaz. Hit. And we were so close. Oh, it was almost. It's, it's knees are buckling. Triani. Triani will stay right there. Shield Guardian. Shield Guardian will stay right there. Crew Cash. Can he do it? Can he? There it is. Ugh, shatters it. <laughs> Explodes in a shower of dirt and rock. And the Everyone within 10 feet. Make it easy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. 
No, it didn't do any of that. So we, it falls to the ground and boom. We are out of combat. Dun, dun, dun. And you guys, as we're going to hold there, are you ready for the love? Wow, nice. <laughs> you had that ready. <laughs> yeah, I did. So it wouldn't hold off. 37,600 XP. That was a nice a portion. Jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should do just wandering monsters for you. Yeah, just go ahead and keep throwing those at you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just keep wandering down until we get somewhere, but. Uh, yeah. We'll take a many yeah, of these. As, you know, hey, I've been trying to get in a way to get that book used, and there we go. So, gave you a challenge, and yeah, that was definitely a challenge. Yeah, uh, definitely was <laughs> just for one of those. Yeah, uh, the big boy was twenty five. It was fun. Yeah. So yeah, okay. It was awesome. Well, we uh, we still have plenty. So um, the crew is going to continue its um, trek down to Summit Hall, and then from there. What do you guys think you'll be doing once you return the breastplate? Uh, probably heading back to the temples after we. Uh, I'm just get just our asking stuff. so I can pre prepare. So depends on how long it takes us to get there because we may have to wait for the uh, for the Harpers. Um, oh yeah, they'll be yeah. Well, I, and I also got to draw up a glaive. I've got to find a glaive somewhere in this forgotten realm that will match what crew has carrying around with them in the, the great axe okay well good job that was a uh, very interesting a nice long battle there a nice three hour battle with some monsters actually that was uh that would have been um in the middle of the night so too they kind of came in um all right folks we are going to hold there. We'll be back tomorrow night with the death dealers Tuesday night D D. Well, this is it for the trolls, they got to face some trolls again. It's what they excel at. Some unusual they, trolls. Yes, they vanquished them. Yes, and that, like I said, that is from the book um, Ultimate Bestiary, Revenge of the Horde. It was a Kickstarter. It's out now, um, but it was... Um, who did the book? I forgot. Um, back page. Forgot. Well, well, I think like Nord games. I think it was Nord, Nord. yeah. That's, uh, uh, that's what I was believing that it was. We was um, well, I'm looking at the deal here, but yeah, you know, like me, I can't find it at the time. But anyway, it was a good, nice book. I've been wanting to use it because I've used the uh, Underworld book that came out from AAW. I've used it with Out of the Abyss guys and got some nice little monsters there, and we've liked that a lot. Uh, yeah, Nord Games was the maker of this companion which uh, has got a ton of different monsters of all the normal i guess the more common races itself all right gentlemen that's enough for me blabbing we'll see everybody tomorrow night uh and uh come join us uh, say group say bye to the viewers we had some nice viewers tonight we appreciate everybody watching and take care we'll see everybody thanks, thanks guys everybody. it was an adventure Good night, yes, everyone. thank you for all the yeah. thank you everyone.